If you think your favorite candy bars are made from just colorings, sugar, and maybe vanilla extract, then I'm sorry to break it to you, you're wrong. Those cute little gummy bears, candies, and marshmallows aren't made with what you think they're made from. Plain truth, they're made with gelatin. Yep, the compound that is obtained by boiling the hooves, horns, bones, and skin from cattle. And unfortunately, these are just one out of the hundreds of badly produced foods. But for the sake of this video, we'll stick to 10. Number 10, salad dressing. So, you thought salad dressing was all about fresh herbs and natural flavors? Think again. Most store-bought salad dressings are packed with preservatives, artificial colors, and enough sugar to sweeten a candy shop. But no rush, let's start from the beginning. The process behind commercial salad dressings isn't as simple as mixing olive oil and balsamic vinegar. They typically start with a base of soybean or canola oil, which is often genetically modified, of course. Then to enhance flavor, they add vinegar or lemon juice. But it's not enough to give your taste buds a kick. They toss in some artificial flavors and colors for that extra pizzazz. That's not all. To keep the oil and vinegar from separating into an unappetizing mess, they introduce emulsifiers like xanthan gum and lecithin into the mix. It's like a culinary magic trick, making two different liquids into a harmonious duo. And it can get pretty ugly if not controlled. As for preservatives, you guessed right, they're added to extend shelf life, which might sound good in theory, but not so much for your health. Or did you really think that salad dressings remain fresh on the store shelves for months without any preservatives? Oh, come on. Many of these chemicals are associated with severe health problems, including heart disease, obesity, and even cancer. It's like adding a ticking time bomb to your salad. Number nine, Pringles. This one might shock you, not in a very good way. Pringles are the kings of the stackable chip world, but here's the secret. They're not made from potato slices. First off, Let's address the potato aspect. Unlike traditional potato chips that are sliced from actual potatoes, Pringles are made from a slurry of dehydrated potato flakes, cornstarch, and various other ingredients. This doughy substance is then rolled out and stamped into the iconic Pringles shape. Now, here's where Pringles truly stands out, literally. They're not fried like your typical potato chips. Instead, they're cooked in hot oil for just a few seconds, giving them that unique crispiness. Pringles also contain a cocktail of ingredients that aren't exactly the poster children for a healthy snack. Salt, loads of it to tantalize your taste buds, artificial flavors that aim to mimic the taste of real potato chips, and those devilish monosodium glutamate MSG crystals. But what's the harm to your body? Excess salt content, leading to high blood pressure, increasing your risk of heart disease and stroke. Trans fats in the form of partially hydrogenated oils can also raise your bad cholesterol, LDL, while lowering your good cholesterol, HDL. The combination of salt, fat, and artificial flavor hits all the right notes in your brain, making it hard to stop once you pop that can. So if you're thinking about emptying that can in the trash, yep, you're definitely on the right track. Number eight, apple juice. Who doesn't love apple juice? Of course, everyone does especially when you think that it is all about the natural stuff. But sorry, I'm about to burst that bubble. The journey of apple juice begins in the orchard, where ripe apples are harvested and sorted. Sounds pretty straightforward, right? After being washed and crushed, it undergoes a process called clarification, which involves removing any solids, impurities, and oxygen too. Why? Because oxygen is the enemy of long shelf life. Now, let's get to the not-so-secret secret ingredient in many store-bought apple juices. Flavor packs. Remember that oxygen that was removed? Well, it also took away some of the juice's natural flavor. To make it taste like apples again, manufacturers add these flavor packs. Essentially, it's a blend of aromatic compounds that mimic the apple's natural flavor. Here's where it gets serious. Apple juice can be a sneaky source of potential harm to your body due to its high sugar content which contributes to weight gain, tooth decay, and an increased risk of type 2 diabetes. Also, there are risks of ingesting pesticides, questionable additives, hydration deception, and of course, lack of fiber. So as you see, despite its innocent appearance, apple juice can have a not-so-innocent impact on your health. Number 7. Peanut Butter Yes, peanut butter is more than just crushed peanuts. Most commercial peanut butter is laced with added sugar, salt, and sometimes hydrogenated oils for that creamy texture. One of the biggest issues with many store-bought peanut butter is the sugar content. 
Some popular brands sneakily add sugar to their peanut butter, turning your seemingly healthy spread into a sugary overload. And you already know what that causes. Another ingredient that frequently finds its way into peanut butter is hydrogenated oils, which help to create that smooth, spreadable texture that many people love. However, they come with a hefty dose of trans fats, which are notorious for raising bad cholesterol levels and increasing the risk of heart disease. Hold on, there's more. Salt is yet another culprit lurking in your peanut butter jar. While a pinch of salt can enhance the flavor, many brands go overboard, adding excessive amounts of sodium, which can wreck your body system. Number six, ice cream. Beyond the usual suspects of cream and sugar, commercial ice cream often harbors a stash of less wholesome ingredients. These can include stabilizers like carrageenan, guar gum, and xanthan gum, which help prevent ice crystals from forming and ensure your ice cream remains scoopable. Now, let's talk about the not-so-cool side of ice cream production. The first step involves pasteurization, heating the mixture to kill potentially harmful bacteria. However, this process can reduce the nutritional value of the ingredients. Next comes homogenization, which breaks down fat molecules into smaller sizes, contributing to creaminess but potentially altering the structure of the fats. Thanks to the sugar and calorie content, regular ice cream consumption can lead to weight gain, especially if you don't offset it with an active lifestyle. The high sugar content can also cause rapid spikes in blood sugar levels, followed by energy crashes, potentially contributing to insulin resistance and diabetes over time. Yikes. Number five, mercury tuna. Mercury is a byproduct of industrial processes like coal burning and mining. Sadly, it finds its way into our oceans, and that's where the tuna tail takes a twist. As they swim along, they absorb this mercury through their gills while munching on smaller fish and organisms that have already accumulated this toxic substance. The problem is, instead of passing through their systems harmlessly, it accumulates in their flesh, with the larger, older tuna having higher mercury levels. Now, why is this a big deal for us? Because mercury is a neurotoxin, which means it can mess with our nervous system. Symptoms of mercury poisoning range from headaches and muscle weakness to more severe issues like cognitive impairment, especially pregnant women, nursing mothers, and young children. So, as consumers, what can we do? Simple, choose wisely. Go for tuna varieties with lower mercury levels, such as skipjack or candlelight tuna. They have less mercury because they're smaller and live shorter lives, which means less time to accumulate toxins. Number four, tinned mushrooms. One of the most eyebrow-raising aspects of tinned mushrooms is the way they're preserved. Instead of being canned in a savory mushroom broth or their natural juices, they're often submerged in water. Yes, you heard that correctly, plain old water. But the questionable practices don't stop at the soaking stage. Many canned mushrooms are preserved with a generous help of salt. Why, you ask? Well, salt acts as both a preservative and a flavor enhancer. However, the sodium content in some canned mushrooms can be through the roof. What's worse, some manufacturers add artificial colorings and flavor enhancers to compensate for the loss of natural mushroom flavor, turning a simple can of fungi into a chemistry experiment. It's even been said that the secret ingredient in tinned mushrooms is maggots. Yes, the maggots you're probably thinking of. In fact, it's believed that the US permits 20 maggots per 100 grams of tinned mushrooms. So I'd say stay clear of this one and stick to the natural mushrooms. Who wants to be indirectly eating maggots anyway? Number three, jelly beans. The primary ingredient in jelly beans is, no surprise here, sugar. Lots and lots of sugar. It's what gives them that irresistible sweetness that we all love. However, the sugar content in jelly beans can be alarmingly high. A small handful of these sweets can deliver a sugar punch equivalent to a soft drink. Then there are artificial additives. Remember that vibrant outer shell? It's not just food coloring. It often contains beeswax and shellac-like substances known as confectioner's glaze, which gives them their signature glossy finish. But they also introduce a mix of chemicals into the equation. So how does all this sugar and artificial goodness affect your body? Well, for starters, the sugar content can wreak havoc on your blood sugar levels, contributing to dental cavities, and the artificial additives consumed in large quantities are not particularly good for your health. Number two, apple pie. First off, let's talk sugar. Apple pie recipes usually call for sugar to balance the tartness of the apples. However, commercial apple pies tend to be outrageously sweet. A single slice can contain a shocking amount of added sugars. So while your taste buds might be dancing with joy, 
your body might be sending out distress signals. But here's the real villain in the story, trans fats. Many store-bought apple pies use shortening, margarine, and hydrogenated oils to create that flaky, buttery crust. These fats are high in trans fats, which raise bad LDL cholesterol levels and the risk of heart disease. Let's not forget about the calories. One slice of store-bought apple pie can pack a wallop of calories. And let's be honest, who stops at just one slice? Number 1. Packaged Pork While prepackaged pork products like bacon, sausages, and ham have long been breakfast staples, the story behind these savory delights might not sit so well with your appetite. Besides the obvious pork, you'll likely find a medley of additives and preservatives in these products. Think sodium nitrate and sodium erythorbate, and other tongue-twisting compounds. Now, here's where it gets serious. Sodium nitrate, a common additive here, is a well-known troublemaker. When exposed to high temperatures during cooking, it forms nitrosamines, which are compounds linked to an increased risk of cancer. Additionally, packaged pork products are notorious for their high sodium content. So, isn't it funny how something that sounds so delicious can be so potentially harmful?